myself, Dr. Hamant M. Patel, head of the chemistry department, Primanikla M. Patel Institute of Science and Research, Gandhi Nagar, Kari Sarva, Vidya. I want to present today a synthesis of penicillin. So there are many three rules of the penicillin. So today we discuss regarding synthesis of penicillin. So first we take benzyl penicillin. Okay, so this is the synthesis of benzyl penicillin. This is the structure of 6 APA. That means 6 amino penicillinic acid. Here we give the number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6 carbon atom. Right here. So this is the amino group. So here 6 amino penicillinic acid. So this is the basic structure of penicillin. And this one is a beta lactam ring. And this is also <coughs> required for this antibacterial activity. This is a thiazolidin ring structure having a sulfur atom, right? Number of carbon atom two, here dimethyl group on number three carbon atom, here three carboxylic acid group. This is the H is replaced by thorium or potassium salt. When we add potassium salt, its activity is more increase than sodium. So this is the introduction of 6 amino penicillinic acid. This is the most important part of the penicillin. Further, we take here acid chloride of uh, benzyl acid and this is the COCl group. Acid chloride is react with amino group and HCl is removed here. Right? So, new bond is formed here, CONH. CONH bond is formed like this. Right? So, this is a benzyl group, this one. Okay? This is amide group with beta lactam ring, with thiazolidin ring structure, with a pre carboxylic acid group. Here, H is replaced by sodium or potassium salt when potassium ion is added with potassium hydroxide the potassium penicillate is available for tonsil this penicillin drug is effect on gram positive bacteria okay so by help of acid chloride and six amino penicillinic acid okay after this reaction this reaction react with saturated solution of sodium bicarbonate so this saturated sodium bicarbonate solution is a react and that is if there is a uh, any more 6 APA is there that is the affluence of uh, acid group can remove this part of 6 APA and finally convert into benzyl penicillin so this is the synthesis of benzyl penicillin. Okay, now we go for second. Now we discuss regarding synthesis of ampicillin and synthesis of pivampicillin. So, uh, this is the synthesis of ampicillin right so here same one the one component is six amino penicillinic acid this one same way one two three four five and this one is a six carbon atom on the six carbon atom three amino group is here like this this is react with two azido two phenyl acetyl chloride so here carbon atom 1 and here is 2. So here carbon atom 2 and 3 is an acido group. So 2 acido, 2 phenyl. This is a phenyl ring, right? Total. So 2 phenyl acetyl chloride. This one is the acetyl chloride group. It's react with amine group. 
and loss of HCL. Finally, convert into CO and H group, amide linkage. So this is the amide linkage is formed and this M3 is the acido group is carried on. So this is the first step and loss of HCL, amide group is formed here. Okay, then this uh, N2 means N3, acido group is also reduced by H2. This is the step of reduction for hydrogenation and evolved nitrogen N2 gas here and this N3 acido group convert into NH2 by the reduction process. So finally we get here MP cylinder. This is also effect on gram positive and gram negative bacteria. So this is the application of MP cylinder. So this is the beta lactam ring structure. This one is thiazolid ring structure. These both are most important for bacterial activity. So here when we replace this and uh, go for P1 P So in the next synthesis of P1 P we go for next our basic skeleton is 6 amino penicillinic acid. So this is the final structure of penicillin having an amino group, amide linkage with a free carboxylic acid group. This is also react or used for urinary tract infection. This is the application of MPC. Now further we go for p one p silin. So this is the third synthesis of penicillin. This is the final structure of p one p silin. First we take here MP silin. This is the starting material. And we take here alcoholic ester. This is the alcoholic group with ester with this one is a tertiary glutyl group okay so this is acid group of penicillin which react with this OH group and this one is a esterification and loss of H2O right ester is formed so in the first step we see esterification between uh, acid group of penicillin and ester of alcohol. So most important ester group is formed here. Right? So it's called P1P cylinder. So here this is a free NH2 group with benzyl. Here most important amide linkage with beta linkage, beta lactam ring with thiazolin ring structure with a diester moiety of tertiary glutyl group. So one ester is here and another ester form is here with this one tertiary glutyl group. So this is the synthesis of P1P cilin. Okay. So this is the synthesis of penicillin and now we go for chemical degradation of penicillin. So this is the sketch of uh, degradation. First we take penicillin in the presence of strong acid. We get penicillamine and penyloaldehyde. Then penicillin react with methanol this is convert into methyl penicilloid. This is the ester of penicillin and it's called methyl penicilloid. NOH further react with sodium hydroxide or penicillinase enzyme. This is convert into penicilloic acid. Further decarboxylation of this penicilloic acid convert into penilloic acid, right? And further chemical degradation of HGCl2 and H2O, this is also converted into penicillamine and penyloaldehyde. Okay, so 
this is the sketch of chemical degradation this is the structure of penicillin with a side amino side chain with beta lactam ring structure with ketone and amine this is tertiary amine with thiosoridine ring structure the sulfur atom number of carbon atom 2 there is a dimethyl group and number 3 there is a free carboxylic acid group so this is the main characteristic of penicillin this is also affected on gram positive and gram negative bacteria when the penicillin is react with methanol in the presence of h plus means esterification of penicillin this is converted into methyl penicillo pack and this uh, beta lactam ring is break from here and convert into cwoch3 so this is the ester is formed in the form of methyl penicillo pack then penicillin is react with strong acid this is convert into penicillin aldehyde and penicillamide when the it's react penicillin is react with anaoh in basic medium or enzyme penicillinase this is convert into penicilloic acid so this is the way of chemical degradation right so this is the react with penicillin by strong acid convert into penicillin aldehyde and penicillamine this is the structure of penicillamine then the react with anaoh convert into penicillinic acid we in the structure of penicillinic acid there is a two c double h group one is here and one is here so uh, some heating after decarboxylation of penicillinic acid this is convert into penicillinic acid having only one c double h group this is free c double h group this is react or hydrolysis with mercury chloride in the presence of h2o this penicillinic acid convert into penicillin aldehyde and penicillamide so this is the chemical degradation of penicillin in continuation of our penicillin regarding we discussed about structure of penicillin so as we discussed this is the acyl amino side chain where r is different here also beta lactam ring structure with thiosoline ring structure here we give the number sulfur is number 1 2 there is a dimethyl group 3 this is a free carboxylic acid group 4 is tertiary nitrogen 5 and 6 so and 7 so this is the number of carbon atom here the chemistry of penicillin here the 3 5 and 6 to so this one number 3 number 5 and number 6 is a chiral carbon and this uh, beta lactam ring is a four member cyclic amide it's called beta lactam ring so this one four member cyclic amide and when we discuss regarding this chiral carbon of penicillin there is a three number of chiral carbon in the structure of penicillin when the chiral carbon increases in the any drug there is a activity of any drug is motivate so when we use bond of isomer there is a two raised to n where n is equal to chiral carbon So two raised to three, there is a eight isomer of this penicillin. So this is the application is bacteriostatic and gram positive and gram negative bacteria. So this is the what is antibiotics. So this is the chemical compound that inhibit or abolish the growth of microorganism such as bacteria, protozoans, and fungus. so this chemical compound is isolated from sea water right and uh, we discuss regarding as a small sq there is a what is the beta lactam nucleus so this is a four member cyclic amide ring structure like this so this is a cyclic amide with ketone ring with tertiary nitrogen atom 
and this the cis-stereochemistry of the two proton in the beta electron ring structure. When we go for the use of ampicillin, the use of ampicillin as a urinary tract infection. So further we go for what is the adverse effect of ampicillin. So adverse effect of ampicillin is diarrhea. When we give the dose of ampicillin to patient and more than 500 milligram, so this is the side effect or adverse effect of penicillin. This is the basic structure of 6 amino penicillinic acid. In the way of this, this is the 6 amino group. Further, we have discussed this one. So this is the skeleton of 6 APA. This is the most important skeleton of penicillin. So when we replace R, this is the benzyl group and it's called penicillin G. When we go for penicillin V here uh, in the place of R, we put here phenoxy group. So it's called penicillin V. Further, we go for penicillin X. This is a phenolic group in the place of R. It's called penicillin X. This is the structure of ampicillin. We have discussed this one. This is a branched amino group with amide linkage with beta electron and thiazolidin ring structure. So this is the most important drug, amoxicillin. It's called MOX in the market. And this is having a phenolic OH group with amino group with amide linkage. So this is the in the market in the form of MOX. So this is applicated on gram positive and gram negative bacteria. Okay, so this is the application part of the amoxicillin. Here, most important group is phenolic OH group, which is also bacteriostatic group, uh, amino side chain with beta electron ring. This one, and this is the thiazolidin ring structure with sulfur atom. Here, SAR, structure, activity, and relationship of amoxicillin. So we see this is the acyl amino side chain, it is changeable. And we discuss here regarding ampicillin, penicillin X, penicillin B, and penicillin G. So this is the different mode of action of MOX or amoxicillin. And this is the most important amide linkage. This is the structure activity and relationship of amoxicillin. Here, sulfur is essential, right? So this is the improve the antibacterial activity. Same way, here on the number of carbon atom three, there is a free carboxylic acid group. This H is replaced by sodium or potassium salt. When, when we react with sodium hydroxide, it's converted into sodium penicillate. And when we react with potassium hydroxide, this is converted into potassium salt of amoxicillin. So this uh, potassium penicillate is used in infection of uh, bacteria and the disease of tonsil. So this is the most important drug from, for gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria.